What's going on guys, PSV here and welcome back to another video where today we're playing Bus Simulator 16. This game is quite an old game, um, but it's quite a fun game. Not many people really like it just because the graphics are on it are quite poor. But if you can put that aside, it's actually quite a fun interesting game to play. So today I've set up the Logitech G27 webcam, so I'm using the Logitech wheel. I thought it would be a nice little feature to add to the channel, I know that you will all enjoy it. But without further ado, we're going to jump into the game and we're going to get started. So this game is a brand new account. Um, I know what I'm doing on it, I have played this game for quite a bit of time. But we're just going to go through it, it's going to be a few parts to this. And if you like it, we'll do many more videos with the Logitech webcam as well. So guys, as you can see here, these are your objectives that you've got to do. So drive the existing routes, give your bus a new paint, um, paint job tutorial, What we know what we're doing sort of thing. Um, there is a natural main tutorial that you can do on this game but I'm skipping that because I don't need to do that because I've done it about four times on different accounts since I've had the game so we're just going to minimize this and we're just going to show you here so this is the whole map you can see it's a very very big distance but you only start off with selected routes that you can do so as you can see here we have got our first route to do that is General Street, St Paul's Church, Rank Street West, Crown, Crown Rest Street so these are the ones that we're going to be doing first, this is the route that we've got to drive first and if I click on here we've only got one bus as you can see but this is flashing just because we're on a new account so it does give you a bit of guidelines even if you do skip the tutorial so I have set up the Logitech G27 got already and that so we don't need to worry about that so first of all we're just going to click on here and drive this route on this episode um, we're just going to drive it normally, we set up the bus all start, you can quick start it so the bus is all set up and you can just go through the routes much quicker reverse the route or round trip, we can do the whole lot there and back we're just going to keep it standard, just not going to take any of them we're going to hit drive and it will take us straight over to our bus so hopefully the Logitech G27 webcam looks all good um, if you do want it a bit bigger in the next episode then just let me know and I can uh, adjust all the size and then that for you as well Also, I'm thinking about if anyone wants to know how to set up the Logitech G27 with this game, I'm happy enough to do that on a separate video to show you how to do it. It's really, really simple, and it's basically one of them games that you modify it and customise the controls to yourself, um, to what you prefer. So here we go. So we are in our, like the bus station bit. This is our office. You can uh, drink a nice cup of t coffee if you want. Any coffee lovers out there, you can have a nice cup of coffee uh, t -t 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 -t. we walk out here down here and here is our bus so we need to get the bus ready for the route so first of all we just open up the doors if you know how to do it just hold the right but uh, right mouse button down as well as left for clicking um, let's just shut these doors behind us so we can be in nice and warm so as you can see here our tablets already set up the route got it all ready for us but in future episodes I'll show you we do start customising our own routes and get drivers and stuff like that so you do build up your own, it's basically like Euro Truck Beat building up your bus company instead so what we need to do is get this engine running so you can either do it all by your keys and stuff like that so but most of the buttons on here guys have synchronised to Logitech so if you do see me using Logitech more that's the reason why uh, so you start it up parking brakes on what's fine always just flick all these lights on as well you want to have all these lights on when you're uh, driving to get the best XP and stuff like that you can adjust the temperature heat to get it hot or cold whatever one you'd like I'm not gonna put it up too much oh. don't want it up too much I'll put it back in the middle like that will do you can tune your radio can have a different radio stations but I'm not going to have that on just because you know YouTube will probably uh, mug the video off and give me a copyright ban so apart from that I think we're doing alright so we're going to open up the gate what an idiot mm. we need to open the gate first guys I forgot about that come on why is that 
PSV, you've done such a movie mistake there. But leave those open anyway. Jump back onto our bus. Jump into our driver's seat. Right, now we're going to just concentrate on the Logitech G27. I'm not going to do the mouse unless we get, obviously, um, we have to start buying tickets and stuff like that. That's when I'll use the mouse. So, parking brake off and accelerate. And we are good to go by the looks of all things. Let me just shut the door. Go back into cockpit view. And guys, we are good to go. Let's get going. So we're approaching our first stop here. Pick up some passengers for our journey. Gentian Street. So here we go. Can I have a student weekly pass? So she wants a student weekly pass. So you go to a week student. Print that. Gives you thirty. So she needs four pound change. Right, so one ticket, please. Student week. Not all of your passengers, like that one there, will get tickets. They will automatically just go on. But it's only some that you have to get tickets for. What makes it quite fun because at least you don't have to, you know, buy tickets for every single one. Because after a while, it does get a little bit tedious. So let's carry on this journey. Right, guys. Next stop, St. Paul's Church. So, as it said, you get like a each stop, it tells you, get that woman talking to you. Make sure you don't go through any red lights, accidents, and all that, because it does clock it. If you go through red lights and you get a fine and you lose money from the end of the journey, and your overall total will go down. You don't want to be doing that because that's how your company don't grow. So, we turn left here. Also, guys, it is really particular, so you want to. <clears throat> when approaching a stop, make sure you indicate right or left, whatever side the uh, stop's on. And do it like that, because otherwise you will lose points. It is really picky. St. Paul's Church. So, you can look up here, see, make sure everyone's getting on and off all right. I'll have a student single trip ticket. So click over to here, student one trip. Uh, what does he want, just a trip? 140, it's giving me a fiver. You're welcome. It's another cool little thing on this game, what I think is quite cool. If you look down at the bottom right, when the passengers start talking and communicating to each other, that's when you can, uh, it will come up sometimes on there. You can hear them having a proper decent conversation. It comes up with the letters and the chat at the bottom. There you go. Thank you very much. So it's quite hard to find topics to talk about while playing this game, but it's cool. We've got this, guys. Go on, mate, you're crossing. Another thing, guys, what some people find fun on it, but I think it's a bit annoying, is that you can um, run over people. <laughs> Sounds a bit vicious, but you can run people over, and you will lose a hell of a lot of points, so just be careful on that. Depends how serious you want to take the game. Obviously, I'm going to try and take it as serious as I can because there's no point playing a simulator if you're not going to take it seriously, sort of thing. Um, I like taking these games quite seriously, make it a bit more realistic, more than anything. Are we pulling over here? Open the doors. We nearly finished this route already. The routes are quite short, but then we need to drive the bus back to the bus depot and do stuff like that. Anyone getting on? One ticket regular, please. Of course you can. So she's having a regular one trip. £2.20, please. Oh, God. You got anything smaller, as normal bus drivers would say. Uh, £4.53. £4. There you go. Thank you, dear. And let's get on the way. Oh, guys, we're going to have to pull over gonna have to pull over keep an eye on this because this is what happens sometimes is you'll see that one of your doors says that it's jammed you're gonna have to jump out your cockpit what door is it what is my 
Okay. Or the game might spaz out a little bit for you. Oh, God. I think we found a bug in the game. We have found a bug in the game, guys. What has happened here? Let me get out. Right, there we go. We had a bit of a glitch in the game. So what we want to do is do that. Do that. Do that. Get back into your cockpit and you'll be good to go. And just basically what happens is is that the um, doors lock. So you have to actually physically get out the driver's seat without it glitching out. We had a bit of a glitch there. Next do apologise about that. Crowns rest um, this is the last stop. Make sure to take all of your belongings with you before stepping off the bus. Right, now she stopped talking, I'll carry on. So what you have to do is actually get off out your driver's seat and actually unjam it um, yourself. What's well, pretty cool. Makes it a bit more, again, a bit more realistic. As you can see, someone rings the bell. It comes up on your dashboard, so you know definitely to stop. It's all cool, but this is the final stop. Also, guys, when you get emergency services come in um, next to you, you will have to uh, pull over for them because otherwise, if you hit them or stuff like that, it will affect you and then you do take money off you. So they're trying to add a bit more realism into the game then. So you can have two options, guys. You can hit enter and quit and go back automatically or you can drive back to the garage. But what we're going to do is just look at our map. We're just going to head back to the garage and do it um, ourselves. We're not going to be lazy about it make it a bit more realistic we'll drive back ourselves if you are in a rush you can just press enter at the end of your journey and it takes you back automatically but I think with a simulator like this make it as realistic as you can and drive it back yourself it's all cool especially when it's only around the corner as well if you're miles away sometimes it is worth doing because it takes long to drive but it's all cool but we're like it's just around the corner because we've only just started and we haven't unlocked much of the map here you're having a laugh what an idiot I forgot to look at the junction so as you can see there guys we had an accident and it's kind of handy that we've had an accident I can then now show you what it actually does on the end of like on the bit of paper what we get back to tell us on our journey on our report and I can prove to you how much it actually does affect us So the bus station is just round the corner here, it's not too far away. At any time as well you can just hit enter and skip straight to it. Um, but guys what you need to remember the graphics on here are pretty crap, I'm going to put it straight to you, they are not the best graphics in the world but it's just the way it goes. Uh, let's just have a look, there you go. My G27 decided to go all heavy steering then. So guys, I play this for hours on my own and don't get any accidents and perfect. As soon as I hit that record button, I've had two accidents. It doesn't matter guys, because Lisa now can demonstrate of how realistic this game actually is. So we're gonna pull up here and you've got to park it where this green space is. Just make sure you're in nice and close. Right, and what you've actually got to do, guys, is physically shut down the bus yourself as well, what's quite cool. So again, just switch the bus on and off. Like so, turn the ignition that off. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Switch all the lights off yourself. Make sure they're all off. Um, I think everything is off now and then you just press C to get out your cockpit and then here we go this is our end results as you can see here income so as you can see guys we had over a lot of money a lot of euros taken off due to an accident obviously you have your bus and maintenance and insurance that comes off as well but overall you actually do lose a lot of money for just having an accident so if you can try and take it as realistic as possible to build up your company the best way so we're just going to click here customize 
you have got to do these bits for the game so we can now change the color of our bus so we're going to go for a nice nice red i think that looks really nice apply and as you can see we've done another objective here what's all cool um let's have a look so now what we can do is extend our journey so we can do exactly what we've just done but we can add another stop onto it adding another stop means more passengers more money for the business to save the only annoying bit with this game is when you make a new route you've got to drive to save it you know what i mean so you can you've got to drive it before you can do anything on it so you can when we get a bit further in we can start hiring drivers when we have another bus hire drivers and that, but you've got to drive the route yourself so as soon as you start adding new points to um, your route you've got to drive it before you can do anything with it what's well, a little bit annoying but it's just the way the game goes so guys I'm gonna wrap the video up here we're gonna make a second part of this we'll try not to crash on the next part give it a thumbs up if you liked the uh, Logitech G27 webcam if you want to see any further videos hit that uh, like button and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next video cheers guys